All right, guys, it's me and Fantasy back once again, giving you everything trending and making it relate to you, my dreamers, because you are all that matter. Oh my God, Real Housewives reunion part one. Oh my God, it was everything. I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. You know, I take all everything that I talk about and I make it relate to you. So I need to state that so I can my make mine can wrap around it and everything. Start off with the fashions, honey. You know how we do. Everybody, it's a toss up between Candy, uh, Portia, and Cynthia. Okay, I can understand why everybody thinks and everybody got their own opinion, but it's a toss up between those three. Uh, and I think it's a personal opinion of what people prefer. Because um, some people like Candy and everything because Candy, you've seen her transitions and, and um, Candy hasn't been doing it for like that in that stature and everybody appreciates and see transformation Candy has made. So I can understand why people think it's Candy. And I love the curls. I love the hair and I love the outfit and she had the bling outfit. YouTuber, I would watch him and everything. He said that Cynthia to the cake and I think that was the first time I seen that someone mentioned Cynthia. But I can understand, you know, Cynthia High Fashion, she's the model and stuff like that. She had the ponytail, she had her face. I think that is high fashion when you um, display your face like that. But I just thought it was very, very um, not unique. And that comes to my reward of who air and fantasy at this channel, me, wore to is Portia. It was unique. It was different, and a lot of people didn't like the princess theme, the Game of Thrones she was doing, honey, with the crown, and, and all she was missing, everybody kept talking about the scepter, honey, but it was such Game of Thrones, princess, Khaleesi. You can tell what people's picks and, and, and everything of what their personality is um, based on what they pick, so it's a preference thing, and here at my AFLI channel, you know I'm different, unique, I'm into different fu futuristic fashion, the fantasy, honey, I'm into what Portia had on, so I give her the crown. It's so boring. It's so standard. Everybody was giving Portia the crown. You know what I mean? So it's it's great. It's really really telling of my channel and everything because I you know it's this. I think I'm the future of YouTube. People gotta come over here and check for it, in which it will happen. Anywho, Andy winning. Okay, she thinks she's the champion. She winning and everything. Especially she went through some tumultuous times and everything, and it was just a basically a really good storyline about her you know rising above why did you on that platform tie and she did to display the negativity which was Portia and then it was like it was making the her Portia look like she the bad person and, and 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 you keep you winning but you kept bringing in Portia and that he basically answered that question and she was like it's not about you it's about I want everybody to see me win type thing and Portia I, ooh, she was more vocal on here. And I liked it that. That was great. And I was rooting for Portia. And she stepped in. She was like, honey, why did you have to say my damn name? You said Portia. Okay? You didn't have to do that. So Candy was like, they brought in the whole situation again and how she felt, which I kind of understood. Portia was like, I apologize to you. I took accountability for it and if they're sort. And, um, I can, you know what I mean? Let me tell you, I understand both parts. Candy side, someone's apologizing to me and, and she felt that though that this was deep. It was, it could have ruined her life. It could have ruined her. You know what I mean? And she cr probably cried many nights. half ass apology is not gonna work with her. She, she got to, it's not about you apologizing so many times. It's about her taking accountability stating what she did and understanding how I felt about the situation and how serious it was all it takes is one good deep apology that she can feel the word slow down the sentence for Portia and enunciate the word Feel. Candy wants to feel, uh, feel like you sincerely are genuine. But let me tell you about Portia's part, which I can understand. She apologized again and again and again. Her thinking is, I don't already apologize. It's just done. So why you keep bringing it up? Why you keep feeling some type of way? And I don't already apologize about it. Let's move forward. Can we stop talking about this shit? 
that's Portia's thinking, and I can understand it. You know, I already apologized, and, and oh, and, and, and let me get to my personal experience. A person, honey, I apologize about something and everything, and it annoys, annoyed me when a person kept bringing it up. And I'm like, I don't already apologize about that. You need to let that shit go. And that's their problem. That's their issue. It's their personal thing, and this is that part okay since i'm eight minutes in and i'm gonna continue with the rest of my review okay <laughs> come on back we're gonna talk about uh kenya and then we're gonna talk about sharae okay i think we're gonna do it like that okay this is about i don't know i just talked about it eight minutes in so let's do that and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe be one of my dreamers and get your trending live here at af live